This is Corinne Reinhardt, and today we're going to talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D's been really publicized and for many reasons. 78% of Americans are actually deficient in vitamin D. 43% of males are below 23 nanograms per deciliter. 53% of women are below 23 nanograms per deciliter. Our goal, the number where you should be is between 40 and 60, the higher the better. There are no known toxicity levels of vitamin D actually that used to be such a big worry where you weren't supposed to take more than 400 international units per day due to toxicity. But vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. That's why there is potential for toxicity. There's just no research that's shown there are any. So vitamin D, people think, oh, they hear the word vitamin, so typically you'd think, well, I can get it from food. You can get trace amounts of vitamin D from food, but you get most of your vitamin D from the sun. So if you don't get out in the sun or you use too much sunscreen or you live in a climate where there's not a lot of sun most of the year, you likely will have some vitamin D deficiencies. That's why way back when the cod liver oil was so popular because of the vitamin D in the cod liver oil, especially for cold climates. So now what we're seeing is a deficiency in an epidemic of low vitamin D levels in people's bodies. So what do you do? Well, I think the first thing to do is get tested. That's the most important thing to know what your level is because you don't want to take vitamin D if your level isn't low. So remember, anything below 40 is considered low, in my opinion. Some doctors will say you're okay at 30, 35, but really the prevention isn't there until you get it. I like it closer to 60 to 80, actually, because that's when there's a lot of protective factors. The main thing vitamin D does is push calcium into your bone. That's why we all know it, you know, to cause rickets or osteoporosis if you're deficient. But after it does that, there's so many other things that vitamin D will do or can do. It's an immune enhancer. It prevents cancer. Research is showing that it is. Uh, breast cancers, colon cancers, prostate cancers. There's lots of research out there that is showing how beneficial vitamin D is for, for those types of cancers. So it's definitely in your interest to check out your vitamin D level. Um, the one I use, there are higher doses out and available now. Um, Healthy Origins is one I use. It's 2400 I use per capsule. I recommend one or two or three or four per day depending on my client, their immune system, what their numbers are. So you can, there are vitamin D's out there that are 5,000 international units per capsule. So it just makes it easier for you to not have to take so many capsules. Um, but again, remember if you, do want to find out, you can ask your doctor, get your vitamin D tested. It's the D3 that you do want to supplement. Remember that that's the best available source. You might want to think about getting out in the sun if you can and make sure there's no sunscreen on your body. Unless of course you burn easily on your face, you may want to use it on your face. But you're technically supposed to get about 30 minutes of full sun on unprotected skin daily unless you burn within that time, then you want to gradually build it up. Um, the other issue can be that some people don't convert vitamin D very well from the skin into the blood. Darker skin people won't convert it as easily as lighter skin. So if you're dark skin, you might want to find out your levels and you may need to take something just because you're not able to convert it through your skin. If you'd like to learn more, go to simplyslimliving.com.